Hey guys, I want to do a little bit of uh, the beginning of Jimmy's show last night. Um, I had a lot to catch up on on it, but I saw some of it toward the end, but I didn't get to call in because all the other ladies dominate the phone. And so, but this is, I think he says some important things here about what might or might not have happened to Summer Wells. A little girl we're supposed to be hiding and covering the truth from because of we're all scared of the big mean guys at the top of the t rafficking ingos so like y'all hate molly go lightly okay mm -hmm. i want the same type of hate <laughs> i want the same i feel that way now <laughs> she bashed me last okay. night and called and told so me so y'all get on the clipping start joking me making fun of okay we're gonna make fun of you <laughs> you jimmy he's a funny one isn't he looks so different without his glasses in a way Supreme, yes. Supreme dream. Dolly the Divine Masculine. You better be getting that. Um, yeah, I got on Molly's thing last night because he let, he ditched. And so I went on her thing and I didn't realize that she couldn't, she was uh, bashed me because I made a comment that I didn't think we should be ignoring the trafficking. And I just think that she just gave up on the whole Summer Wells thing because she was threatened in some way by like the big cheese whiz behind the whole trafficking ring that scared the shit out of them and basically told them to get the hell out of here and maybe they were scared or something. I don't really know. I don't know, but what does Jimmy have to say? We'll see. Whatever y'all do, okay? Because it is working. It is working, okay? Getting keep more popular. Going, keep it going, baby. <laughs> Billy Key still got a leaky ass brain. Clip that. Clip that. I'm clipping this. I hope y'all feeling good tonight. Y'all are definitely looking good, my beautiful, beautiful people. You know, so we're going to go into distractions. You know, the distraction is this. Who the hell cares what the hell Jose has to say? I, I actually care because I think he demonstrates an example of some of the background stuff that goes along with the traffic, the drug trafficking corridor in that area. And that's just me. Who the hell cares? Why I, have I watched 30 hours of a dude talk that don't know shit? Can somebody please explain that to me? Can I have my goddamn Jose time back? Can somebody seems like they've all been told to um, act like Jose has nothing to do with this. I find that odd because, because I think Jose is, is, is very significant to this story, but now... Jimmy's like, no, sh no, he ain't. And Molly's like, no, he's not. And I'm like, uh, no, I didn't hear the whole Chris interview because I only heard part of it. Sounds like he did a lot of lying um, and covering up. So, but I still think that Jose is significant because of certain, because, because he said that he believed that Molly, uh, sorry, that Candace would sell her daughter. Now that is why he is significant. He believed that Candace would sell her daughter. He said he did not think Don would, but he thought Candace would. That's why he's significant. I, I think Don would, but I didn't think he would at first. But now, now, the more I've listened to Don's actual voice and his real testimony, the more I'm starting to think he would, but that he also felt really, really, really bad about it because his daughter adored him. A little bit of that back. <laughs> okay mm -hmm. the dude don't know shit i disagree that he no doesn't know anything because i think he knows a lot but i think i don't know something's weird okay he don't know nothing he didn't know the house was dirty he knew a little bit of that but it was like he was gone like almost a year before summer even went missing okay what? it means nothing because to me jose went there, got to know the family, ingratiated himself into the family, became a trusted friend, so that whenever he did show up again, he would be known as a trusted friend. There were a lot of people hanging out at this property. To me, Jose is significant. Um, downplaying Jose feels very concerning to me because I think his testimony, look, he's at least half right. So look, the, the half part, Tossing his testimony to me is just trying to cover up the 
trafficking ring, but I guess people are so afraid. You know, uh, we have to stand up as humans and we can't be afraid. We cannot allow this to happen to our children. You know, nothing. It's distractions, okay? Distraction after distraction from, after. From, from what? Distraction. The only thing I heard today that wasn't a distraction, and I hate to say it because I know a lot of you people might not like this guy. Damn Ernie Shell. Damn Ernie Shell is on his game. That dude is on his game, I tell you. Candace don't want people searching the property. Very so suspicious. Very weird. Now, I saw a video that somebody made. I think it was somebody that Dave recommended. I just I heard the name and I clicked on it. I have to look it up. Um, and she made, who is this woman? She, she, she pointed out that there was a voice in the background, a male voice with Candace. And it sounded something about Don and Don just sent it as if Don was there or somebody named Don, another Don. But there was a voice in the background and something about Don. It just sounded suspicious. Something just, I think that they are covering up so much. Ernie Shell buttering up Candace. Okay? Ernie Shell supposedly claims to be some kind of a super soldier with chips in his brain. And he, I think he's working with this, the rescue of the children, which I'm in favor of a 100%. I hope it's not a fraud. I hope it's really true. I think I have a feeling that it is, but I haven't really watched that channel a lot. So I'm hoping that it's true. I believe super soldiers exist, obviously, because of Max Spears, James Casball, James Rink. Hundreds of people have come forward. They are not to be dismissed. I do not believe in saying, oh, those people aren't real. It's just like, you know, come on. It's just way too much testimony. You, you know when someone's telling the truth or not. Like, look, let us come up there with a group of people, search the property. Why all of a sudden does she not want that property searched? All of a sudden? They, they, they never really let the house be searched properly. I mean... The, when you look at the real place and all of the mess and all of the piles of stuff and how dangerous that property would be for any small child if you didn't keep your eyes on them 100% of the time. I mean, they, these people have never cooperated, but they never really had to. See, that's my whole thing is that they've been protected. And uh, Don's been protected. Candace is protected. These people are protected. They've managed to beat the system. They've managed to avoid CPS and they do. And CPS also sucks, but there's something weird going on here. But I think he touches on something. Why is all of a sudden now she ain't cooperating with the police? Now? Okay, she's not. She never you know did. Before she a, she never did. Sorry. Sorry, Jimmy. Great, but she Jimmy. Sorry. <laughs> trying to get a fun. I'm trying to get a better still of you, but I'm not. There we go. That's better. Okay. She never cooperated with the police. I don't know if you knew this, but the night that Summer went missing, the police came and Candace refused to talk to them. She told this to Allie and her, her grandmother. Okay. So Candace has never cooperated with the police. She also, according to Plunder, failed the first lie detector test and then passed the second one after they drugged her up a bit. Okay. So they are covering for her, in my opinion. This is my opinion. We all have your, you have your opinion. I have my opinion. Doesn't mean I don't still love you, because I still do. But, you know, she has never cooperated. Never. She pretends. It's no. She didn't have to, because they protect her. This is obvious. We see this, okay? Now, she is not cooperating. She never did. Don't want the property searched. Never did. Why? She, Ernie Shell was like, let me come up there with a group of people, cadaver dogs, yeah, sure. things like that, search yeah, the right. property. Mm -hmm. Is he the only one that has any sense? Because that's what needs to happen. They, somebody needs to be up there searching that goddamn property. It needed to happen eight Finally. months ago. I hate to say stuff about the police and search teams. You know, I don't want to say nothing negative. They found a lot of stuff. They probably found more dead bodies than me. But sometimes they overlook some of the most simplest shit. Sometimes. Sometimes. Gabby Petito, they, they, they tried to arrest the, the fragile, sobbing little girl instead of the big, strong boyfriend who was fine. So yeah, I know it's hard because we don't want to say anything bad about the men in blue, but 
we all know and have heard about dirty cops. You know, we look at Brian Laundry. They were searching and searching and searching, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and they were walking right past his ass for what a month. I mean, he was literally right there. This like right there. Cadaver dogs couldn't smell shit. You know what I'm saying? He ain't even buried, and they couldn't smell him. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's like fake, fake, fake. The only real way is is they didn't have much time to react. And it is possible that that little girl could be somewhere on that property. And they, they dug, buried, dug a hole, buried her somewhere. It could have been always true. I, I mentioned the cement block that was put near Candace's filthy, horrible trailer, which has, is covered with all this stuff. So if they put the cement block near her trailer, then covered it with all this wood, no one's going to look at it. It's so easy to bury a child there, but I don't think she's there. I think they cremated part of her body. They put it in those little crosses that all the kids and the, the parents are wearing, and the organs were um, auctioned to, I think... Somebody probably really wanted one of those organs. First of all, somebody said that blonde blue kids are very de desirable. They want the blonde blue bloodline. They really, there's something about blonde blue that they like. They want the organs or the blood from blonde blue, the blonde blue bloodline. And um, sometimes I think that's why Candace is protected and Don because they want that bloodline to keep making babies or something. I'm not sure. Um, she, she, Candace never wanted a daughter and then she really paid the price because the daughter never treated her very nicely and the daughter always acted like she really loved the dad she probably loved the mom too sometimes but it sounded like from what Jose said that um Summer when the dad was around the mother didn't exist Summer was all about her dad she was a super duper super real daddy's girl and, and Candace was very much left out. But Candace kind of never really wanted a girl anyway. So she kind of created that in the first place. It was a very sad story, no matter what. But that's another reason why Jose probably knows firsthand that Candace would be willing to sell her daughter. And that the other friends will realize that Candace would be willing to hurt her daughter. Because Candace was very hurt by her daughter. Never wanted a daughter. And then she gets a daughter who only loves her father. So she's just getting a, an emotional whammy. And you could see why a normal human, that's a lot of negative uh, energy and feelings around a little girl. So you can almost see why Candace got rid of her. However, Don, Don really, I think he really loved his little daughter. I think she really loved him. I think she thought he was, he was the only one who was going to save her and he didn't save her. And the two of them, I think are both guilty. I really do because I didn't think so with Don at first. But after listening to Don talk, man, he, he, he would sell his own kid for drugs. Now, now I know a little more about his life than I would say right now. I would say he would. And that's just my opinion. Came out there searching. They didn't see nothing. They're searching the woods. They ain't searching for a hole, you know? A so hole. they're searching. And this little girl could have been gone the whole time. She's in a flower pot. Uh, Judith Quilts has been a member for two months. Thank you, Judith. There's all these containers all over the property. Containers and cans and tins. There's tons of them all over. What about that sink that they threw over? You know, it didn't even occur to me. She could be down that slopey hill at that sink they threw over. She could be in the sink. She could be, you know, ground up in the sink. Oh, shit, low battery. Oh, Good shit. to have you here, of course, like always. Shit. Hi there, Jimmy. Hi, Judith. Hi. Okay. So, you know, we've been seeing people. We've been seeing a lot of distractions. Okay, a lot of distractions. Andrew, Hunter's dad, distraction. Jose, distraction. It's taken... I think those two are very important. That's my opinion. From what's going on. Everybody's worried about what this dude's saying. I disagree. I think they're part of the trafficking ring that we're supposed to be covering up. But what everybody needs to worry about is... Why are they they not cooperating? Why now do they not want that property search? What's the big deal? It's been searched so many times before. Why does it matter if it's searched now? I don't quite know. You know, it's just a big deal right now. We go into the lies. And uh, the more of deception is like, why in the hell... Would you have to sign a non-disclosure agreement in a missing kids case where you are around the family? Right? That is that is absolutely crazy. Who did that? And why what? is that controlled by outside source? This yeah. man Tim. 
Mm-hmm. Why to... is this man, Tim, paying what we come to find out later on is YouTubers to run interference on YouTubers that think that Don and Candace are guilty? Mm. This man even paid Winky. Mm. Okay, yeah, he paid him. He said it out of his own mouth on his own stream that this dude hit him up. He put fourteen hundred dollars in his cash out. Fourteen hundred dollars. He took Benny Keys to fourteen hundred dollars to run interference and attack and threaten anyone who thought the get the who questioned the the guilt or the innocence of the Wells family. He literally he attacked anyone and had a team of people for fourteen hundred dollars. Or running interference eight months fourteen hundred dollars that doesn't add up to very much per month does it because you know for the longest time uh leaky was team captain they're innocent mm -hmm. all right and anytime you had something benny would he would be like nah it's, he would throw some interference mm -hmm. brainwash you mm -hmm. with his his wet brain me, just sling it on you right and people were just people. buying it buying it Not okay me. i know other people that do that Not stuff me. too mm -hmm. and uh mm -hmm. It was just a distraction. Mm -hmm. It was just to take people off the case. Mm -hmm. You know, Glare. the more people that believe that narrative, that these people are just innocent. Now Molly seems I'm to be one of these. To proven guilty, right? You're only innocent to proven guilty after you're arrested. Okay, no, not you arrested. ain't been arrested yet. Mm -hmm. no. So there's there's none of that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Jimmy, I got my uh, dolly bag that I won on your stream. Thank you so much. I love it. I use it to hold my uh, car windshield cover. Okay, cool. I mean, I don't care. really care what you put in it. Glad you got it. All right, because we had a whole big shipment go out Friday. So, guys, if you haven't got your stuff yet, give it a day or two because we just had a big shipment go out Friday. And I want my stuff. I can't yet. get it. So there's a couple I can't things. get my stuff because I'm afraid to go back to my town because of serial killers and stalkers and crazy people. And, you know, I'm bummed about it. And my friend who was going to help me get my stuff can't do it right now. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I want my stuff. I want my stuff. Well, I don't want the bloody hand, but I want my other stuff. My other stuff. There's a couple gray shirts. They haven't went out yet. <sighs> so there's going to be another shipment go out either probably the day after tomorrow. So uh, we still got a few things that left to go out. And if you ordered anything in the last couple of days, that hasn't went out yet. Okay. This but everything else has this been This isn't shipped. the part I want to show, but, you know, definitely buy his merch. Keep him alive. Who are Ernie's people? Now, I don't know. That's a good thing. We, You know, we'll have to ask Ernie on that. And then, you know, like I said, Jose was on the interview room today. Okay? He was on the interview room today. But the whole thing is this. Is why are we talking to people that wasn't there? I mean, I First get... First of all, I think he might have gone back. He could have snuck back there. He had a relationship with Grandis. We don't know that he wasn't there. Did he say he wasn't there? Maybe he said he wasn't there, but he could have been there. He could have lied. They all lie. He easily could have been there and no one would have said a word. He could have easily picked up Summer who trusted him and liked him and he could have whisked off and no one would have known a damn thing. And that's a fact. You, we weren't there. We don't know if he was there or not. You can't say he wasn't there if you weren't there yourself. Were you there? No. And there was a lot of people there and he could have been there and he could have lied, lied, lied. And someone's protecting him too because maybe he's useful in the trafficking ring and they're going to protect those guys who are useful in the trafficking rings. I don't know. Um, I'm not part of that and don't want to be and I hope I never am. No, Please, what would it be like if I am never, ever, ever part of these trafficking rings and nobody I care or love about it, care about or love is ever part of these trafficking rings and they all go away on planet Earth? What, what would it be like? The information we needed about the condition of the house, that was it. That's not That's it. That's really the no, only it's thing not. we really No, know. we learned about how he, um, we learned about the whole drug running thing. Oh, and other than that they were cheating on each other at the time. But that and was... He t and the drug use. And the, um, there's a lot. Anyway, Mexican cartel, we're supposed to pretend that wasn't true, right? Oh, prior to that, 
Does that even matter? That's like me just going to go find any random ass person that's been to their house. You know, he really didn't have no solid. Random ass person? He was there for three months. Cooking and cleaning and doing homework with the boys. They adored him. He was the Latin lover, the Latin loverino. He was the new daddy-o. Random, no. I'm sorry to disagree. I respectfully disagree because you know I love you, but. Formation. And he really wasn't there that long. <sighs> the only thing, you know, I mean, he had. He was there long enough to get their trust. That's my opinion. I could be wrong, but that's what I think. The fact that they were dirty, that they drank. He said that Don, you know, of course, the same shit he been saying. Yeah, ass saying his daughter. Does he want all this attention when he won't dare? And why? He was he there. He was there for a lot of time. He was there without Don and just Candace and the kids and the grandmother. And then he was there with Don. And he developed a relationship with the grandmother. And he, the two of them, work together behind the scenes, okay? She is the original Grand Dom criminal who gets away with it. And she helped her pretty boy, Ita Latino trafficker, help get this shit to happen. It's my opinion. I know. Am I going to get hurt for this? Treat him like he's a big fucking deal. Like he's some celebrity. No. He's some weirdo no. on the internet. No. You know, no, he's not a weirdo on the internet. He's been trying to hide from being on the internet. He's not a weirdo on the internet. He's a real man who is part of this and he was trying to hide. And then he got caught up with, he doesn't want to be exposed. He's in a very bad position and he's probably scared shitless. He doesn't want to go back to prison and he'd rather kill himself than go back to prison. So he's trying to cover his ass because he does not want to go back to prison. And people who don't want to go back to prison will make deals to make sure they don't go back to prison. So he has every reason to lie. And anyone who doesn't want to go to prison has every reason to lie. And you can understand why there a damn year before the kid went missing it don't make good sense to me it's just it's taken away from, why even hold any seriousness to that you know what i'm saying no i don't i mean if you was like you wanted to know the condition of the house and maybe a little inside source on the people All right. but how does that turn into a fucking 15 part mini docu series that's what i want to know yeah it's a good question Jimmy. yeah who cares no yeah, well, people who don't want the trafficker ring to get exposed, that they definitely don't want, don't care. People who want the trafficking rings to stop care. Dirty, boo, boo. He wasn't there. He was nowhere around. You don't know that. He knew the property because he'd been there for three months or six months. To him, it felt like six months. He knew the property very well. He was in bed with Grandis. He was in bed with all of them. He had earned the boys' trust. That's why he was there. He could have gone back there for five minutes. He could have been hiding in the shed. He could have been hiding down by the basement door and snagged her. And she wouldn't have said a word. That's why. Okay. Okay, no. So, this is like, come ask me. Nobody would have, nobody paid you to say this, right? Nobody would do that, right? No. I won't around. You know no, what I'm saying? So you so don't say that you know who was there or not there. It, it don't make fucking sense. Jimmy, like, I think, I, we you, we weren't there. So we can't say. What's going on here? You need to be talking to people that were there at the time she went missing. No, Jimmy. Right? No. I can't believe. No. This is a pre-set up, pre-planned thing. We weren't there. We don't know who was. He could have been hiding in the shed. Grandis could have been hiding him easily. I thought I was getting a different thing. Candace, Don, the kids, Jody Sue. Why are you so invested in protecting this guy? Why do you care? Why do you, why are you spending this many minutes trying to make us not care about Jose? I don't get that Jose... The, the damn daddy, the damn, this is random fucking people just. That's exactly the point. Candace invites random fucking people over. This is not to be ignored unless you're trying to cover up the big ring, which is obviously the goal. It, and everybody's doing it, including Molly. 
distraction. No. Everybody's worried about all that and not no. worried about no. that. No one's worried about that. I've never seen more people ignore this obvious fact. I mean. For summer and that the fact that the parents got all this shit going on, but really there's something there, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. There's something to it. And it's there's something to it? What? There's something to what? The fact that the mother should have watched her kid? The fact that the father and the mother lost their kid and then have been trying to insist someone abducted her ever since. And the abduction, by the way, in my world, I don't know, abduction means trafficked. You would not abduct a child unless you were going to traffic that child. You don't, you don't abduct a child to bring it home to play house. I mean. Because of the money. And I talked about that in the other video. The money. And like. And people clipped and took my video out of context. That's the only bad thing about you clip channels. When you clip stuff up, you take stuff out of context. Mm -hmm. So there is something to do with this. And I know a lot of people think that Little Summer Wells was sold. And if she was, it would make almost more sense. Mm -hmm. Because of money and people running interference and mm -hmm. things like that. Mm -hmm. Now you're finally speaking the truth. You know, they want you to think this little kid's missing. Mm -hmm. When in actuality, they done sold her into some type That's of trafficking or, or something of that, of that nature. That, not even just that. What if, you know, what if a kid somewhere needed a kidney? Mm -hmm. And you got these poor people that need money. I mean, mm -hmm. that's a little hypothetical strength. No, that's what happened. You finally said it. You finally said it. That's what happened. Thank you. Thank you. Love you.